it's me. Hi, I'm the Sophie, it's me. I hope somebody out there appreciated that as much as I just did. <laughs> so hello and welcome back to Life of Soph. I have been waiting to film this video. Today it's the 24th of January and I'm going to be doing a next haul, as the title suggests, with a little bit of new look thrown in as well. This next order was placed on Christmas Day and the last part of it arrived possibly on Saturday, so it's taken almost a month to get everything in. The order came in three parts, so you'll see that I look slightly different in some of the clips showing you some of the clothes. And obviously the new look stuff came two or three weeks ago. I've actually worn one of the dresses quite a lot since, so stay tuned for that. So let's start with the new look dresses. So the first dress that I got was this green and black, really lovely kind of Peter Pan collar, really comfy long sleeve dress. If you're not a regular viewer then you may not know that I am actually five foot zero and so I buy a lot of petite clothes and this is actually a petite dress. I really love how comfy it is and I feel like the pattern really suited me. I did keep this dress, I did really like it and I got it in the sale, it was £15. I don't know what it was full price but I'm very very happy with it for £15. The next dress was very similar, as you can see it's another long sleeve Peter Pan collar dress. Uh, this one is red with black dots on it. I don't know if it's classed as animal print or something. I don't know if you can tell from my face but I wasn't very keen on this one. I just felt like it didn't suit me but I just didn't really like it so I did take that one back already. Again this one was in the sale and it was £11 and it's also another petite dress. I didn't show it on the video but I did also actually buy some black shoe boots from New Look. When I tried them on I just wasn't that keen on them so I took them back but they weren't sale purchases they were £29.99 full price. And then the final item that I got was another petite one and this time it was a coat. So it's this olive coloured coat with kind of a furry hood. As I said it was another petite item and it was £22 in the sale. I think it was £50 full price so it was less than half price. But I don't know if you can tell again from the video but I just was not very keen on it. The hood was too big and it felt like it was going to constrict my throat. It was warm, it was okay, but I wasn't sure that it was going to be that comfortable, so I decided to take it back in the end. So you might class that as an unsuccessful new look haul, but actually I got a load of money back in refunds and I love that green dress. As I said, I've worn it a couple of times since then and it's just so comfortable, it's so easy to wear and it's also different to anything else that I own, so I class that as a win. So, moving on to the main event, my next haul. I spent about £200 overall on dresses, on the basis that I wasn't going to keep everything, probably. As it turns out, I think I'm keeping three for certain and one is a maybe. I ordered six dresses, so on average that's what, £33 each, roughly. So again, I'll show you the clips of me wearing them and tell you what I thought. As I said, the order came in two parts, so the first few dresses came in a couple of weeks ago and so I obviously had to try them all on and then I only had 14 days to take them back if I didn't like them, so the ones that I've taken back, I've already taken back, so these clips are from when I tried them on. So the first one was this white mango kind of blazer dress. It was so beautiful. When I got it out of the packet, I thought it was so lovely, but I did also think, ugh, that looks a bit big. And lo and behold, as you can see from the video, it was too big, unfortunately. All of these items were in the sale, so I won't say it every time. This was £30. I don't know what it was full price because it's not on my order slip. So unfortunately, this one, despite being absolutely beautiful, did have to go back. Next up was this green lipsy dress. It's kind of asymmetric. And I was thinking that this might be kind of a formal event dress. I think I've mentioned before that I've been to a few events with my work over the last year and it's only going to keep going hopefully if we keep winning awards so I needed a couple of new dresses just so that I had a few to kind of rotate between. So this dress was £29 and I ummed and ahed about whether or not to keep this dress and I sent the video to my sister actually as a little sneak peek because she does watch the channel so thank you for your help. She convinced me to keep it because she said, it, I think she said it was very flattering, so hopefully you guys agree. Let me know what you think in the comments. I did really like it, I really liked the colour. I, I don't really know what I wasn't sure about, but I decided to keep it. And then the final item that came in that order was another lipsy dress, and it was this one. The boob bit isn't sheer, by the way, it just looks like it is. This was £29, and I thought this was absolutely beautiful. This was an absolute must-keep. I love this. 
Again, I think it's going to be good for events and it's black so it should go with everything. The only thing I was unsure about with this one is that I've got one that's kind of similar-ish, which you'll see in a minute, and I was a bit like, ugh, I don't know which one I'm going to prefer, so I have hung on to this one in the hope that if I went over the 14 day return they might be able to give me a gift card, but in any event I'm going to keep it because I prefer this one to the other one. So today I picked up the final three dresses and the first one that I tried on was this one from Hobbs. I actually tried on a couple of Hobbs dresses in one of the outlets over the Christmas break and unfortunately the size sixes were just too big for me. This one didn't feel like it was necessarily too big, there was just something about it that I didn't like and I still can't put my finger on it. But in any event, this one is going to be going back unfortunately. This one was £70 so I'm going to be quite pleased to have that back in my bank account. That was the most expensive dress that I bought and yeah, unfortunately I'm going to have to take it back. The next one that I tried on was another Lipsy dress you might have cottoned onto the theme here. So this one I was thinking of as more of kind of a work dress, so you can see it's kind of black bodycon, it's got little gold button detailing on the front, although I should say there are no pockets. It's a really good length, I think it comes just below the knee. Although I have to say, when I pulled this out of the bag, I thought, mm, if I saw this in the shop, I may not have gone for it. But when I tried it on, actually, I thought it looked really good. <laughs> it's so lovely. I don't know if I said, but that dress was £24. And then finally, this was the other black dress that I said was similar to the Lipsy one earlier. This is another Lipsy dress and it's £22. I love the detailing on the neckline on this one. I'll show you a close up in a minute. I'm not so sure about it, it, it particularly because of the length. So I don't know how well you can see this in the video, but it's kind of like mid calf length. As I said earlier, I am vertically challenged and um, it was just quite long. It's a little bit difficult to walk in because it's so long but I do really like it and I'm, oh, I'm just in two minds about whether to keep it or not. So hold that thought, I might keep it or I might not. In addition to that I also got a large gift bag which I won't bother showing you, it's just a gift bag and also a little side table which I think they called grey hex something or other. It was fun carrying that from the shop to the car, fortunately it was light, it was just big and difficultly shaped. <laughs> so I'll insert a clip of that here, I've got a couple of places in mind where I could put it but it was £33 and I've been looking for something similar for quite a while really and I haven't been able to find anything that isn't like £80 or more so I was well chuffed when I saw this at £33. Being from Next hopefully it's going to be quite good quality as well so yeah, really pleased with that. So that was all the clothes that I got from New Look in the new year and also my Christmas slash Boxing Day sale next haul. If you enjoyed this video I actually did one of everything else that I bought in the Boxing Day sales which includes some more clothes, Disney stuff, a pillow, loads of random bits and bobs and if you want to see that video then you can click here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!